I'm Dr. Melody Gertian, and I'm an alumni of CHSU College of Pharmacy. Today, I will be taking you on a campus tour here in beautiful, sunny Clovis, California. Let's go. Down this hallway, you will find our faculty offices. One of the unique things about CHSU is that we have an open door policy. That means if you need to drop by and talk to your professor or your faculty mentor, you can do that at any time. Each student is assigned a faculty mentor at the beginning of their P1 year. This mentor will be there to guide you all along your pharmacy school journey. To my left, you're gonna see that we have scanners and printers on campus. This is amazing. So if you don't have to worry about having a printer at home, you're all set at school. Now follow me, let's go to the compounding lab. And this is our compounding lab. Students are in here during their first year in their first semester. This is where you're gonna learn how to make medications for all of your patients. You're gonna learn how to make suspensions, capsules, lozenges, suppositories. Lozenges are great for the pediatric patients because they might be too young to take the oral dosage forms. You might actually figure out this is the type of pharmacist you wanna be. If you love baking, you're gonna love compounding. Now, if you follow me, I will show you one of our classrooms. Welcome to classroom one. This is one of our classrooms. You might notice that it's set up a little different than what you were expecting. We work on teams every single day. That means you show up prepared and you work with your team to help find the right solution and provide the best care. This translates into you being a great team worker when you enter the workforce because you will be working with other providers to give your patients the best care you possibly can. I know that being here on a team really helped me get through it and it made me a more competent practitioner as well as someone that knows how to communicate well with others. You're gonna love having a team. Let's go see the library. And this is our library. It's a quiet place to study. You might notice that we have a very streamlined design and that's deliberate. A lot of today's universities are using electronic libraries to make it convenient for you to access your textbook using your computer, your tablet, or even your cell phone. We have great Wi-Fi on campus, so there's never a problem with that. But if you opt for the hard copy, it is available to you. Now, if we need to access some journals, a lot of times they require a paid subscription. Our librarians have got our back. They can pull you any article you need if you just give them a couple hours notice. This really helps when you're on rotations. Now this is our research lab. As you can see, there's a lot of high-tech equipment in here that our faculty and our students use to conduct their research. That means by the time that you graduate, you could be a published author of a research article, and you could even present at a national conference. This lab is biosafety level two, which means there are additional safety protocols. That means that there's stem cells here, there's even cancer cells here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for a break. Let's go to the lounge. And this is one of our two student centers. We come here throughout the day to refuel. If you need to grab a snack, there's a vending machine. If you bring your lunch, we have the fridge and the microwave available to use. My personal favorite thing is the unlimited coffee and tea. There will be available coffee to you all day long. It'll help you get through the day if you're like me and you depend on your caffeine. If you decide to stay on campus, we have all this available seating to you. Oftentimes the organizations will meet here during lunch. They'll have activities or group meetings. This would be the place where that would happen. But on a gorgeous day like today, my favorite spot to have lunch is out here on our patio. Follow me. Welcome to our beautiful outdoor patio. This is the perfect place to come, enjoy the serenity. There's usually birds out here. We can get a cool breeze on the right day. This is a perfect spot to come do that during the craziness of your day to day. Behind me is a 12 mile trail that connects all the way to Woodward Park that way and Old Town Clovis that way. It also connects to our student center. Follow me and I'll show you. And now we are across the street at our student center. Here behind me, you can see we have multiple study rooms. They're perfect for group or private studying. You'll also see that we have a tutoring center on campus. It's a free resource to students to help really make sure that you have everything down. Sometimes all it takes is a little perspective from somebody else. For example, when I was a tutor, I would compare the volume of distribution of drugs in each body to your family members and their appetite for pizza. Now follow me, let's go to the student lounge. This is our second student lounge. Oftentimes our organizations will host cultural events here, such as Persian New Year, Lunar New Year, and Diwali. We have a very diverse student body and we love to celebrate each other's cultures. This is an awesome place to come have lunch, refuel, and yes, there's more coffee and tea here. Being a new university, our campus is still being built on 110 acres at Temperance and Highway 168, just north of Clovis Community Medical Center. 
Our College of Osteopathic Medicine and Simulation Center are there now. Pharmacy students have some labs in the Simulation Center. The new College of Pharmacy building will be built there in about five years. Eventually, up to 10 health science related colleges, administration buildings, student center, and adjacent student housing will be built. The Clovis campus we are at right now will accommodate the College of Pharmacy as long as needed and until the building on the new Alluvial campus is ready. We'd love to have you join our CHSU family and we hope to see you soon.